Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So in this episode what I wish to develop is that uh, for now for my evade animation I have just this part and so this animation is uh, not something that I have used root motion so I'm going to replace that with a root motion enabled animation from Xamo I'm going to use uh, this one and we have another dodge animation yeah maybe this one yeah this one all right and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me so i'll download them without a skin this one and this one and i'll convert this, uh, those animations and add a root bone with this blender plugin as I have explained in previous videos okay done now let's go back here and let me first check where have I put that evade animation yeah it's here okay this is not the one I need this stand in dive forward yeah this one so I need to replace this animation so the name is stand in dive forward here I can just drag and drop from here this is the converted animation from the blender so I can drag and drop it here and re-import that animation yeah now as you can see it has this root motion to be sure let's check it yeah it has the root motion perfectly so I'll enable root motion here with the first frame okay now my character should play that animation accordingly with the root motion yeah okay so this is what I wanted let's wait them wait one of them attack and then dodge well, that's a little bit of a problem So yeah, here what happens is I am rotating my character towards uh, the enemy character and that's why that uh, rolling direction changes in the middle. So let's fix that problem. So let me, let's close them and in the event drop in the take this part this lock on part so this is where i set the rotation towards the towards the closest enemy or the locked enemy yeah like this so 
how can I disable this while I'm dodging? Well, so if I set this uh, lock on to false, this uh, rotating towards the enemy thing wouldn't happen, but then again I will have another problem. The problem is, so let's check the dodging function. Where is it? It should be, yeah, I'm using the same button for the jump for dodging as well. So therefore it is here, yeah. Yeah, so this is how this happens. So when I have a closer enemy, I am dodging like as I have done in here. When I don't have an enemy nearby, I just play the jump animation. So this is the dodging code. And this is where I play my animation montage. And here I have used this move component to node because previously I didn't have this uh, root motion thing. So therefore I manually moved my character side when I dodge. So now I can get rid of that part. And yeah, so this, so uh, by doing that I can get rid of most of these codes. So it will make it more simpler. And also, yeah, so I said uh, what I have to do is making this one to false temporarily. But the problem is if I set it to false temporarily at the end, then again I have to set it to true. But let's say if we don't have a nearby enemy and we are not locking onto them. So therefore, I would have, uh, I wouldn't know at that time whether I was previously locked on or not. So therefore, I think I can use this ready, that this ready variable here with an and. I think that wouldn't do any harm. Anyway, I have to test and see. So when my ready is false, uh, my this rotate into the character thing wouldn't happen. And yeah, I think that would fall, that would be okay. So let's see. So now where should I set this ready to false? Well, that should be done here as I have done in other attack montages here I can add this notify to disable movement and at the end enable movement Okay, now let's check. Okay, now it is working as intended. And another problem so I haven't replaced this uh, dodge back animation so therefore let's re-import that animation so that is that evade animation this one let's okay so what is the animation I am using here the same thing, the same standing dive 
only the first part mm. all right so let's import that new animation stand in dodge backward i don't think i already have that animation imported here yeah so i can use the night rm and i don't need to import the mesh okay so i have this this is the doge back and let's enable root motion here and also I have to create a new no I can use that animation here so I stand instead of a stand in dive forward stand in dive backward and let's reset these timers and play rate to 1 okay zero what is the end time should be no standing dodge backward yeah that's the animation okay What's the length of this animation? Stand in dodge backward 1.633 right and here same as before let's add that to notifiers add notify disable movement and add notify enable movement right now let's check okay so this is dojin back he's dojin backward from the closest character and when i press the dodge button with the right or left input or forward input it plays this one if I press the dodge button without using any directional buttons, uh, the character dodges like this. <laughs> well, my dodging distance is not enough, it seems. How about this one? No, I was too late to dodge. Okay, so anyway, that's all I wanted to do for today. In the upcoming episodes, uh, let's continue to improve these functions. And also I want to do a boss battle system as well and add some effects to these attacks like magic effects and everything that you can see in usual in games. Okay and if you like to support my work you can go to my Patreon page the link would be in the description below and you can get the membership of my patreon page as and depending on the tier you join you will have different privileges as i have explained here all right see you in the next episode goodbye